The Rare Genomes Project is a research study at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. We use genomic sequencing to search for the cause of rare disease for individuals and families with suspected genetic conditions. We hope to find answers for families participating in this project and at the same time, advance scientific understanding of rare genetic disorders. In this video, we will walk you through the steps of our project. Participation in our study is directly initiated by individuals and families with undiagnosed diseases, and all study steps are done remotely. Through the application on our website, applicants can tell us about the history of rare disease in their family. Our study team will review this information and those eligible will be invited to enroll. We will arrange a detailed video or phone discussion about the study and send consent forms to complete enrollment. Once enrolled, we'll send a blood sample collection kit to each person participating. Our sample kits can be taken to any Quest Diagnostics facility or doctor's office, whichever option is more convenient. There is no cost for the blood draw or shipping. We may also ask about the availability of tissue from a past surgery or medical procedure, such as a muscle biopsy. This is not necessary as part of participation in this study, but it may be valuable in some cases. We will ask for copies of medical records to help us better understand the presenting symptoms. Some examples of relevant medical records include results of previous genetic tests, genetics and other specialist clinic notes, and imaging reports. We can receive these records through postal mail, fax, or a secure email. Once blood samples arrive at our lab, we process them for genome sequencing. This allows us to sequence or read each of the more than 3 billion letters of a person's genome, which is all of the genetic information in their body. Our team will use multiple tools and approaches to analyze the genetic data and the health information from the medical record. To search for the genetic cause of disease, we'll compare the genome of those with a rare disease and their family members to over 100,000 genomes from individuals without a rare disease. This allows us to identify which genetic variants are seen commonly and which are rare and worth investigating as a possible cause of the condition. By analyzing the genetic information of participants in this study, we hope to identify a genetic change causing the rare disease in the family. If one is identified, we will recontact the family to discuss the option of confirmation for affected individuals. Confirmation testing is performed in a clinical laboratory in partnership with a local physician of the family's choosing. There is no cost for confirmation testing. In some cases, a result may be very well understood and associated with a known genetic syndrome. In other cases, it may be less conclusive, but suspicious for causing the rare condition. Details about the result are provided in the clinical confirmation report sent to the medical provider returning the result. Although we hope to find a result for all families, we cannot guarantee a result will be identified. We do not formally return negative results. We continue to reanalyze the data for all families without a result. While not intentionally sought out, it is possible that we could identify a medically meaningful genetic change that is not related to the reason for enrolling in this study. If we were to identify one, there is an option to have it clinically confirmed and returned by a doctor. Data sharing is a way that we connect with other researchers to find new disease-causing genes and helps to increase the rate of rare disease diagnosis. We do this by sharing sequencing data and a list of medical symptoms through multiple secure platforms built for data sharing. The information that we share is de-identified, meaning that names, dates of birth, contact information, or other personal identifiers are never shared. We are committed to maintaining privacy by sharing only what is needed to make diagnoses and advance rare disease research. We hope that this video has been helpful in explaining what participation in the Rare Genomes Project involves. You can find more information about our project by checking out our website, raregenomes.org, 
or by calling our office at 617-714-7395.